For getting started, what do you need? Where do you need to sign up to develop an Alexa skill that you can even test in your smartphone or an actual smart speaker? In general, you have the choice between either cross-platform tools or vendor-specific tools. The usual advantages and limitations apply. Cross-platform tools are often easier to use and allow an easier way to publish the same product to multiple different target platforms. For voice assistant development, I really like VoiceFlow. It has a simple interface and you can get fully working skills done without writing a single line of code. I frequently used VoiceFlow even for courses targeting people who have never started coding before and are not even from the tech sector. It's still fun to experiment with dialogue trees and speaking to a computer. Especially for professionals and after successful prototyping, the vendor-specific tools are the best way to go. For Alexa, this is called the Alexa Skills Kit. It provides all the latest and greatest features and most flexibility to do whatever is possible on the platform. However, in this case, you need to know development. Currently, the recommended way to develop a native Alexa skill is through JavaScript or Python. For testing the skill, you can use testing tools directly in the browser. Keep in mind, though, that this experience differs a bit from the actual experience. VoiceFlow, for example, simulates a lot and doesn't always correspond exactly to how Alexa would understand or say something. Even for the native tools from Amazon, there are small differences. For example, with a physical smart speaker, there is a limit how long your skill can wait for the user to answer. In the browser tool, it will wait forever by default. Of course, if you don't have a smart speaker, you can simply install the Alexa app on the phone to test. Keep in mind that Alexa development only requires an Alexa account, which is tied to your Amazon shopping account. It's completely free of charge. If you want, you can additionally sign up for an Amazon Web Services account. It gives you even more control over the services, which you can then create manually. But it isn't necessarily free and requires more knowledge about managing cloud services. For the hands-on aspect, we will be using VoiceFlow. For this, you actually only need to create a free account at voiceflow.com. It gives you all the possibilities, even for creating a live skill. For more advanced use cases and bigger teams, you can switch to a paid version at any time. Academic discounts are available. However, I would recommend you also having an Amazon account. It allows you testing on real Alexa-powered devices or smartphones, and it's required for publishing your finished skill to the world. An Amazon Web Services account is optional and not required for this course. How do you sign up for an Alexa account? Visit the Amazon developer website where you will find the option to go for Alexa development. Essentially, this will upgrade your existing Amazon shopping account with developer features. You can then test on all Alexa devices like Echo speakers or Fire TV sticks that are connected to your own account. After one click in VoiceFlow, it immediately works to talk to your skill in a physical smart speaker device. This will be an amazing experience to hear. Just as a reminder, the AWS Developer Center is optional and usually not needed for your first skills. So don't mix up the Alexa option with the AWS Developer Center.